This is going to be a good one. Right, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm going to be talking about the upcoming 21-22 season for Wrexham FC and how it's going to be one of our biggest seasons we have had in years. So yeah, can we try and smash, let's go for 53 likes on today's video. We're like two subscribers off 2k, so hopefully when this comes out, we'll have hit it. And yeah, go and follow the Instagram and all that jazz, and yeah, let's get on to the first topic. Season tickets. Right, Wrexham FC, obviously my club I support, we have recently broke a season ticket record where we have sold 5,200 season tickets, and it's got to the point where we've had to have capped, which means stop selling the season tickets to supporters because we've sold that many. We might have, because obviously the stand behind the goal won't be open for the Notts County game. We might have sold that many that there won't be any room for season ticket holders to come into the ground to watch the first home game, which is just absolutely incredible. You know, it's m more than the majority of League One clubs that have how many they've sold. It's just incredible to see these. I know people might say, oh, they're jumping on the bandwagon and supporting Wrexham now because of the takeover. I don't really care, to be honest. As long as we're getting people through the gate every week to see us play, it's going to be a buzzing atmosphere. And I just, I'm, I'm shocked that we've sold this many season tickets. Um, they will go back on sale though after the Notts County game when the Rex Rent stand go, uh, is back open to fans, and we're expected to to sell 5,600 plus, which will see the majority of the racecourse ground packed, which is going to be incredible. Unfortunately, I haven't brought my season ticket this year. I have never had a season ticket, but I'm debating it whether to get one after the Notts County game, but it just depends if there will be any left. But it is great news for the club. And yeah, season tickets is, is just an absolute success this season. There's also been a new fan centre that's hopefully going to be installed by Christmas time next to the turf a new 20 meter by 20 meter fan zone is set to be installed outside the ground obviously by the turf it will be done by christmas hopefully so over those christmas fixtures hopefully that will be packed with people and it's a good source of income for the club obviously there's a new 40 foot bar as well which is going to be crazy it yeah it's just it's going to be a good source of income again they've had um the go ahead from the council and it'll bring fans back together again over the Christmas time because obviously all with this COVID stuff, it'll finally be some, some, of, some sort of normality. A great project going on by the club. Yes, this is, this is crazy. I just still can't get my head around we're doing this much. Also as well, I wanted to talk about the main people of this video, Rob McElhenney and Ryan Reynolds. Obviously they said... They want to get down to the racecourse ground as soon as possible and spend as much time on the grounds of the club, which I think is great. It's going to be good seeing them come to the ground because obviously, after all, they are our owners and they've pumped money in for us. And the least we can give back to them is our support. And just to see them at the racecourse ground is going to be a pretty surreal moment. Um, I never thought I'd see Ryan Reynolds at Wrexham Football Club. It's, it's crazy, especially Rob and Ryan as well. They seem passionate, eager for success at this football club. And I think that's what we need at this moment in time. Because if I'm being honest, 13 years in this league, it didn't look like we were going anywhere last season under Keats. We bottled playoffs in the end, but hopefully this year won't be won't be the same as last year. Obviously, we've got Dagenham on the final day as well. Hope nothing's going on there, but yeah. They, I cannot wait to see those two at the ground. The reception they'll get is going to be great. And I think they they are two absolute fan favourites at the club. They've come up with some s splendid kits. They've, already, they've spent no time in improving this club even further. So Rob and Ryan, I can't wait to see you at the racecourse ground soon. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the signings we have made. Now, we've made six signings so far this transfer window, four of which coming from the EFL and two of which coming from National League Premier Clubs. Liam McAlinden, sort of a forward and a winger, joins from Morecambe. He played 31 times, scored three goals. He can play on the wing, and a lot of people are doubting his scoring record. But I do believe under Derek Adams last year, he was more of a wide player. Harry Lennon from Southend, injury-prone at times, but 
Mm, should be a good defender. If Parkinson can keep him fit, he looks a big, solid defender. Another defender, Aaron Hayden, joins for an undisclosed fee, which is thought to be around 150000 from Carlisle, another tall, solid, strong defender. So what a signing that is. Sean Brisley has joined from Port Vale as well. Another good defender experience for me of Port Vale. Not a very EFL-based defender. Should do the job. Unfortunately, suffered a injury in pre-season against Spennymore. So fingers crossed all is well with him. And yeah, another good defensive signing. Jake Hyde and Paul Mullin both join. Mullin being the standout of the two coming from Cambridge on a three-year deal, having had uh, interest from Middlesbrough, Fulham, Blackburn, and broke his lead two scoring record for Cambridge and in the League 2 as a whole. Jake Hyde signs for an undisclosed fee as well from Halifax, having scored 12 and 27 last year. Six incredible signings, six strong, experienced signings. And it'll be interesting to see how they can do at the club. Obviously, they've got the whole of the Rex Mercy fan base's support. And yeah, very good signings there from Parkinson. And the last point is I wanted to talk about the coaches. Obviously, Parkinson has brought in Steve Parkin, who's worked with him as an assistant manager at Bolton, Sunderland, Barnsley, etc. So he's been with him his whole career where they've had absolute success. And he also appointed Lee Butler, his keeping coach, also joined some Sunderland where Parkinson was last at, having been at the same clubs as Parkin and Parkinson. So yeah, some good coaches being brought in and some good players. I'm very happy with the signings as well and just what's going on at the club at the minute. We're on the rise and I'm just really looking forward to this season. It's going to be an immaculate one. It depends how many games I can go to. If we, if we, if I can't go to many, then it doesn't matter. I'll still be supporting from home. Whether the games will be live streamed or not, the Reds have my full support. And I'm just really looking forward to this season. Hopefully, this will be our year that we can maybe get promoted or at least win the league. I'm very hopeful. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy, please make sure to drop a like. Also, subscribe to the channel with the bell notification on. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. And follow me on Instagram at one Liam Roberts. Yeah, and that's the video. Hope you did enjoy. Just a quick briefing about the new season coming up for the town. Um, it's going to be a good one, one that we've never experienced before. So yeah, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the video. Take care.